Hi, I'm Andrew. Welcome to the Drunken Grail with my friends Stomps, Fitz yeah. McGee, Hi. and Irish. Hi. Right, let's get this motherfucker started, bitch. Whose thing is this? All right, it's mine. Okay, it's the stomp. Okay. So, the delectable drink that we are drinking today is White Claw Hard Seltzer, black cherry flavored. Definitely smells like it. 100 calories, 5% alcohol by volume. Uh, We have put ice in our drinks because, well, I didn't think this went ahead, so they're warm. But uh, these are great if you're trying to lose weight. If you want to lose weight, don't drink alcohol. Are you trying to watch your girlish figure stops? Oh, you Are you trying to weird. tell us something? Is that what this is? <laughs> I'm trying, trying to get my basic bitch He's on. trying to tell me something. I mean, they are only 100 calories. Are we getting white girl wasted tonight? <laughs> you better fucking We gotta add vodka in these. We're getting get white, white claw wasted. wasted. So, oh. It's essentially hard salsa, but the thing I love about these, you can slam like 10 of them and not feel like fucking your gut's gonna pour out. Which Cheers. Is pretty Cheers, nice. boys. Slanja. So they're good throwbacks. Slanja. Nipples. <laughs> nipples. He said this is nipples. what I mean by it's more fun when you're here. It reminds me of Flintstones vitamins. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like um, it. It's definitely, you know, it's definitely hard not to just chug it. Mm-hmm. But it's definitely something I wouldn't Ugh. buy on a regular basis. Ugh. Maybe on like a hot summer day. No. I'll, <laughs> not I'll even drink that. one. <laughs> no. here's, here's but, yeah, they gotta is... have better flavors than this <laughs> Yeah, this, one. they've gotta have better flavors than this bl- fucking, what, what is it, black, black cherry? cherry. Mm. I try not to discriminate. Yeah, well, I am. This is terrible. <laughs> this it's a uh, Caucasian claw, African American cherry. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's Fucking fantastic! Of course you do. Uh, you know what? This is actually good for a cocktail starter. Yeah, yeah. It's not. Some, it's not oh, good yeah, for you, drinking by itself. You know, add, add whatever you want. You you know, add some uh, tequila or vodka or whatever, and make your make yourself a nice little nice little mixed drink. I think it's really good for your next party. I think it's really good. And I'm it's enjoying it. Seltzer. It's, it's not. Out. Yeah, it's not terrible. You know, it, I'm just saying I wouldn't get it on a regular basis. It's a spiked seltzer. What's the sugar content? Uh, that's a good question. Two grams. Yeah, this shit will not give you a hangover. It'll hydrate you as you drink. <laughs> I'm way more alert now. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> it's a 12-ounce can, and it was like, what, eight bucks for a six-pack? <laughs> not, bad. Well, not bad. They do also come in talk, boys. So if you want to get white girl wasted on the go... Put that you know what up. else? If you're, if you're go, going home on the train, you know, and you want to get a little, little white girl wasted... Yeah, it looks like an not? energy drink. You know what else comes in tall boys? <laughs> what, what? Stomps. <laughs> I was about to say we're waiting. <laughs> I was going to say George Takei. <laughs> With Takei. a Takei. Takei, whatever. <laughs> oh my god, it's Robert Lowe. Hello. Is he alive still? Uh, I, I don't so. know. All right, Andy, you have some facts, some interesting let's, stuff. Let's yeah, hear it. I, I kind of have some facts. I'm just on a website. I was going to... Oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Masturbating. Oh, oh, oh. He's oh, masturbating. What are, you, what are you doing? Stop. I'm just gonna read some uh, some randos off. All right, go for I'm it. Wax some randos off. I'm gonna wax some randos off right Jeez. now. All right. So is that guy in Star Wars Rando car, is he? <laughs> uh, fact number forty six, paragraph three fifty seven, archive number five thousand one hundred and thirty six. Uh, Brewmeister's Armageddon is the strongest beer in the world. Its alcohol content is around sixty five percent. Ooh, which, how is that even a beer? I I honestly don't. At that point, think it's like it a carbon, carbonated liqueur or something yeah. like that. I, Jesus. I I don't see how it could be a beer because I don't think yeast could survive in any alcohol content around fourteen to nineteen percent. Right. But <laughs> next fact, scroll before you knock over your fucking drink. Um, your dick bag. I'm not gonna knock. <laughs> you distracted it with dick bag. <laughs> Oh, another good thing. This is why my hair is so fresh. You can use beer as conditioner. Apparently, uh, good quality brews will leave your locks silky and soft. <laughs> what, so how how good oh, quality do they have to be? Like it says, it just says good quality. So like what? So what what brand Actual would you use? Right, don't just don't put Budweiser. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say Budweiser, but they're a 
Like, are we putting yeah, IPAs in our company. hair now, or I'd say like? Probably, yeah. So like, <sighs> all right, that's okay. <laughs> that's, Feels that's like a, a waste, that's a pretty, uh, kind of. That was Is a, that why you go through so much beer so quickly? I mean, you do have some. You <laughs> have you, amazing you have hair. Luscious, locks, you have bitch. some luscious red locks. Yeah, you do I have some. I feel like he did his own research. He's at the bar. He meets a girl. He's like, "Wow, you're interesting, but your vagina stinks." Pour beer on head, and after about the fourth girl, it starts looking pretty good. Well, no, I no. throw I throw it on a hairy vagina, so the hair is easier to spread away. <laughs> Makes uh, sense. Oh, God. Uh, I feel like it. You take more than just you can't just pour. You when you have to wash it, it rinse it in, like massage it into the pores. Yeah, it's like a leave-in conditioner. You just <laughs> pour it on there. Wait a minute. Ladies, if you thought your man could pamper you, wait till you have a cold beer pussy massage by oh Andrew. God. Yeah, that's uh, it's a one of a kind experience we'll be oh, offering man. later. Say it with a French accent. At our highest level of Patreon, you'll get a beer pussy <laughs> massage from Andrew. <laughs> we'll have to figure out the price point on that. If you don't pay for the Patreon, we use the habanero sculpted by Palace. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. You got some hot pussy there. Like, I do. I do. If your check does if your credit card doesn't go through, that's what we do. I do like a spicy meal though. A spicy meatball. Did you go down on an Indian chick? Uh, well in <laughs> this case a spicy taco. Wow. <laughs> you do like a spicy taco. <laughs> Go are, down on her, then I'll give her we're my, all going to hell, <laughs> aren't we? Wow, you guys are just <laughs> obliterating this thing. I cannot I, I Dude, don't. I'm almost done. I could seriously chug this like right now. It's going down so easy. Yeah, the joke is gone. I, don't I was going to say, I'd go down on an Indian chick and then I'd give her my Palak Paneer. It's you're a Palak, Palak Paneer? I don't, we don't have any British <laughs> listeners, but you're definitely a Palak. What's a Palak? It's like the British way of calling somebody a dick. Oh, okay. Well, well, a, well, we'll get corrected on that if you're wrong. Just call him a dick. You're not <laughs> yeah. British or anything. Not, I, I like the way the British curse. <laughs> why don't Why don't you use your just nationality call me a, call curses me a fucking, on? Because it. no one understands fucking Greek. But Who me? cares? Right. It's still fun. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, pusty. <laughs> pusty. Oh my god! Or my favorite one. Know. You call I somebody just... a bell end. What? A bell end. What, like a bellhop? Is this another no. British thing? Yeah, it's another British thing. You're picking the worst ones. A bell end is a, a dickhead. Because the dick looks Just like a Call someone a fucking <laughs> knob. Or a knob. Or a tosser. Or a muppet. A I like muppet? muppet? But we call my what dog does a muppet, muppet mean? In, in, like a fucking idiot. So what do they think when they see the like Muppet a, like movies? A, like a dummy. So, so do they not call them the Muppets no. the over in Britain? What do no, they but call here, them? Here's what's even funnier. They can't show Futurama or <laughs> any <laughs> show episodes in England because a bender is calling somebody a cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> another, another fun fact, a fucking uh, growler. Is, is another word for calling a pussy? No, it's just pubes. Really? Yeah. What's that Australian word that you like? You can say here, but you can't say there. It's really bad. Cunt. Yeah, but like it's worse over there. I feel like. What? There's some word here that like because there was well, <laughs> Will Ferrell was doing it for when he was promoting Anchorman Two, and he went down there, and he kept saying the word over and over again. Maybe on, like, me. There. No, no, no. That's something they use all the time. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I don't <laughs> remember the word. What? What word is somebody from Australia or New Zealand not going to say? Vegemite? The, uh, the Aussie? Non-alcoholic? No, it was something that was like a... It was, well, they were on like national... Like, it was like the equivalent of going on like the morning show here going, you fucking fuck, fuck, and you fuck, fuck. Like, he was doing the equivalent of that on one of their morning shows with like a word that didn't seem... None of us know it. This is going nowhere. You basically describe Fox News in a more less polite way. No. <laughs> All right, fine. We went from... Beer facts to uh, talking about knobs, pouring beer on pussies and uh, knobs and British ways of calling people cocksuckers and dickheads. Don't, don't, don't look at me <laughs> right there, the ginger bastard. All he talked about was using beer as a conditioner. And no, yeah, like, yeah, he's tested it by pouring it on people's. <laughs> no, pussies. yeah, that's all you, buddy. That is all you. I stomps. thought he tested it by oh. taking it home and pouring it in his hair. Where's the stenographer? We don't have a stenographer. Fuck. We have a recording that we can listen to later. Fuck the recording. It's online. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake, yeah, the, yeah, the, fake yeah, the, news. Yeah, the yeah lies. okay. Yeah, they're lies. <laughs> well, I'm done with mine. I don't know about you guys. I'm not even close. 
don't know about that. Was, that went down. Andy's, that went down is, is way too easily. We can't see. I don't like this. I feel like I'm drinking medicine. Yeah, that's I not my. Uh, I don't like not my cup of tea. Do I prefer pills? This would actually be. N- <laughs> this is why I prefer cocaine. No. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, all right. There we go. <laughs> Any more beer facts? Since we're waiting for pussy over here to fucking beer facts. Hey, uh, it's gross. <laughs> all right, you ain't gonna force me to drink this quickly just because you guys chugged it down. Oh, like all right. Yeah, I have one more. Uh, beer, beer, uh, temporarily cures depression. <laughs> I thought it was a depressant. Doesn't yeah, it make it, that worse? I'm pretty sure I, alcohol I just is a state depressant. For the record, Andrew has no certification in the medical field. <laughs> it's a depre- It's FDA approved that it does. <laughs> just so what? we're not held liable, no one here at the Drunken Grill actually believes this. Temporarily, I do. <laughs> no. I feel like that's not true. I feel like if, I, yeah. if you it's want it's to a, kill yourself and then you're, you start drinking it's more, you're going to want to kill it's yourself. A, it's a depressant because it slows your heart rate. That's it. Yeah, it also makes you think you can dance. Which I can. No. I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah. Not, not with that lack of you an ass. You knock people over is what you do. <laughs> Swinging that ass hey, around. Hey, do I look depressed while I'm doing it? I don't think so. A little bit oh. in the eyes. A little dead inside. <laughs> Are you done too? Am I the only one? Yes. You're the only I'm one. The only You're one. the only one. Not uh. everything. Now drink your fucking beer. It's not beer. It's seltzer. Yeah. Whatever. That was really good. I needed that. I feel like my PP is going to be clear now. <laughs> no, it won't. All these others, all the other things are going to drink. Are gonna Who doesn't want a again. cherry flavored Hummer? Let me. Ref- <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You're not tasting wow. it. <laughs> are you asking us because Holy you're giving shit. them away right now? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, all right. Where's your, your bunch of cherry chapstick in your room that we're not aware of? Well, not- Tits McGee Irish and I are going to get Cherry Hummer from, Apparently, <laughs> from Stubbs. <stops. laughs> Don't worry, we'll pause the recording, people. You won't have to listen to that. <laughs> oh, no, we won't pause it. All right, who farted? Oh, come Probably on, man. Probably Woodhouse. Not, uh, is that's that, a Woodhouse is that your new excuse? Do you, want me yeah. to, do you want me to wipe those tears? <laughs> is that the new thing? <laughs> no, he usually claims credit when he blows up the that table. Is, that's a Ugh. Woodhouse fart. Oh, Woodhouse, come Why on. Why feed him? Beans food. and beans and more beans. Jesus! <laughs> Stop feeding your dog farts. Put put some put some white claw in his water tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Leave my dog alone. Oh, fun fact! Apparently, I got three minutes to finish this disgusting thing. Fun uh, fact: hops are poisonous to animals, so if you're home brewing, keep your hops at a high level. They're also not good for you to eat, as you found out when you ate yeah. one. <laughs> Apparently, you ate a hot pellet, and it destroyed your palate. Did I die? It destroyed his palate. <laughs> you didn't it die, but did I die? <laughs> it destroyed everything on the way down. Yeah. It, like, lubed his colon. I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> it's better, it made, it's it better made than me, juicing. It made me so bloated. So, so bloated. I was like, this is probably exactly what girls go through every month. <laughs> and then I farted and it was gone. <laughs> so probably not. <laughs> yeah, wow. definitely I'm not. pretty sure that's not what girls go through. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure they can't just fart away their periods. No, they just... cannot fart away their periods. It's not how it works. You need a you need tissue. Not a doctor or anything, but I'm pretty sure. We know when I laugh really hard, I cry. <laughs> I can't help it. <sighs> you can do it. All right, Just so relax your throat. Maybe not a girl, but I was probably closer to a beach ball. That's probably what a beach ball feels like. What, what? are we talking about? What? How bloated oh. I was. Oh, yeah, how okay. bloated and farty he was. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? Fondling a beach ball? Are we, are we still inflated. talking about this? What the fuck? <laughs> Super inflated. Mm. All right, come on, you son of a bitch. All right, oh. look at that. At a boy. Oh, that was terrible. There you go. We'll make a man out of you yet. Well, Never. What kind what? of a man? I don't well, know. Well, uh, you know, what's the White Claw just champion? White Claw just uh, entered the Empty Glass Society, guys. I don't know how because this thing was horrible. horrible. Way to go, horrible. White Claw. Suicide. All right. What? Start. <laughs> Making girls All think right. I look better than so, I actually do. Andy, what is this one? So this is a uh, Captain Lawrence Brewing Company. It's uh, slightly local, depending on where we are right now, because we don't live anywhere. <laughs> we live in space. 
<laughs> we, are just, we are just watchers among the few human beings. Okay. okay. Uh, so it's a New England style IPA called Powder Dreams, mm. which is normally. Yeah, that's definitely New England style. <laughs> I say normally I have wet dreams, but you took it to the cocaine level. Of course I did. That's fine. <laughs> so it's a New England IPA. Oh my god, the smell. It's dry it hop. Great. It's dry hop, and it's called powder powder dreams because it's it's made with lupulin hops, which is like a it's a new thing. Oompa loompa hops. Lupulin, it's a new thing. Isn't that what killed Michael Jackson? God, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you just ate a fistful of lupulin. Lops. So um, lupulin. <laughs> hops. Right, lupulin hops. Jeez, so defensive. It's uh basically a uh, it's powdered hops. And uh, it's like a – it's the science side of beer. Very, it's the name. Very um, – uh, I don't know how to explain it because I'm not smart. But uh, that citrusy. first taste is uh, powerful. Haven't even opened not my bad. can yet. Hope you guys like it. But um, so the lupulin is – it's mosaic. They, it's powdered mosaic hops mixed in with uh, wakatu and bravo hops, which I've never had before, and I'm very excited to try. Oh, my God. Did they make the – where did you oh. from? More than likely. Oh, that's hoppy as hell. God yeah. damn. It is very hoppy, God but uh, I, I'm in, I'm quite enjoying it. All right. Well, I hope I enjoy it as well. <coughs> Hold on. It's like cit- just citrusy smell and very hoppy. That's the flavor. that's the mosaic lupulin. Okay. Well, cut. Straight out of the can. Oh, wow. All I got to say is Wakatu forever. (laughs) (laughs) I think that's like Wakanda's neighbor to the south that's not quite as well off as Wakanda is. Yeah, they've been having some economic problems. It's kind of a rundown (laughs) neighborhood. They're also a little more pale. (laughs) Yeah, just slightly. This is a very pale one. This it, is it, it, dude, this I is, cannot even see through the glass. It's so hazy. It's absolutely incredible. I didn't pour mine in my glass. I'm just going to drink it out of the can. You're an animal. Mm. Pour it in your glass because it is phenomenal. Well, it's called it a is... can, not a can't. Oh. What, does that have, what does that have to do with it? <laughs> I, I agree. I agree with oh, that Lord. sentiment. And yet you poured it out. I did, but that yeah. was before he made oh, the oh, can, oh. Like, not a can. Excuses. Excuses. Hey, how about you just shut, roar, roar. shut your... Titty mouth, Tits McGee. How about we all kill ourselves? Mm. Um, let's not do that. All right. I don't so, that. what That's brewery do negative. we have this week? Brewery. Oh, From we're on breweries. Irish, um, okay. So, I wanted to talk about a brewery that I was just <sighs> at for my job. Um, nice. I can beer for a living, uh, and uh, we went to a uh, brewery called Three's Brewing Company. In Brooklyn, New York, and uh, th- it's uh, I'll, I'll be kind of short and sweet with this, but uh, it's like a midget with diabetes. Three's Brewing Company, or like Burn Troyer, creates craft beer that balances complexity and simplicity. Uh, they focus on classic German lagers, traditional Belgian farmhouse ales, and hop forward American ales. Um, Let's see. Uh, they launched in December of 2014, uh, and they have made over 60 styles of beer. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's like cracking his knuckles. And I, it's almost like I feel it. It's so bizarre. Ah! Oh, jeez. Oh, what sounded, the hell? <laughs> that sounded painful. <laughs> what the fuck? hell's wrong with your hands? <laughs> Off okay. too much. <laughs> so do I, but Jesus. Uh, okay, sorry. Anyway. All, right. All right, so they, uh, so they've they made over 60 styles of beer, and uh, the roster is still evolving. Mm, um, that's a lot of beer. When I went over there, we uh, the company I worked with, I'm not going to say the name because you know, I'm afraid to lose my job. It's the but, CIA. Yes. Can you can, can, can. But can, uh, can. We, we went over there to the brewery side. Yeah, there are two parts of this brewery. There's the brewery part, and they actually have a tap house in Brooklyn. Uh, they're kind of separate from each other. But um, it was a nice a nice place, very clean. Um, uh, very tight space to work with, but uh, uh, very, very good, very good. You know, nice people working there. You know, nice guys. You know, everyday workers. Um, I, I, I will go on to say that uh, 
Three's Brewing um, made some of the best beers that I've had in a while, actually. When I was there, we canned a IPA and a Pilsner, and uh, the Pilsner was probably one of the best Pilsners that I've ever had in a while. Uh, I think I, I had one with you. Yeah. You gave me one of the cans. It, it, it was a little more like thicker than normal Pilsner. Right. But it was delicious. Like, it was super enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, it, like, it was, you didn't want to gulp it. You wanted to just sip and savor. Yeah, it, you, did, we... you did want to sip and savor, but it was it was definitely crushable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a crushable beer, but uh, it, you, you didn't want to crush it. You just wanted to sit there and enjoy it. Um, Wait a minute. Can we have that for the next fucking episode, maybe? <laughs> I will try to get my hands on some. Um but uh, yeah, that's that's all I know about the brewery so far. Uh, there, uh, yeah, you could probably find some of, most of their stuff in New York. Uh, hopefully, they do. Uh, actually, I, I have seen some of their stuff in uh, in Connecticut. Um, one of their loggers I spotted in one of our local uh, beer shops. Um, so it's not it's not hard to uh, come by, you know. All right, sweet. Mm. Good. It shouldn't be hard to come by if you go to one of your uh, local beer warehouses. Uh, I'm sure they'll have some in Connecticut or wherever you are. It's never hard to come by. Um, but yeah, that, I just wanted to spotlight <laughs> that. Uh, hard to come. I just wanted never to spotlight. I just wanted to spotlight that brewery because that was one of the one of the best ones I've ever I've actually been to in a while. Fantastic. Um, Good to know. Very awesome. very smooth beers. The IPA that we can- canned was actually very good. It was it looked like a it looked like a hazy IPA. I don't think it was a hazy IPA, but it looked very very hazy and um it was delicious. It was uh and you, if you know me that I then you know that I'm not like uh horny for IPAs, but I that particular IPA was actually very, very good. I think that's quite good. obvious, judging yeah. by how much beer you guys have left. <laughs> 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 I don't think this is going to make it, buddy. IPAs are What? Kinda... I, I'm not making it. You're not making me chug this one. IPAs are kind of like hentai. They get tiresome after a while. Hentai never gets tiresome. There's always why a new is woman your... getting raped by tentacles. Why monsters. is your beer hazier than mine? That is an insane what the comparison. Fuck? That is nuts. Because I jizzed into my Never have I been drinking an FDA. Am I drinking beer wrong? Should I be can. jizzing into my beer? Yes. Have you not fuck. been doing that? Though? So no, I haven't IPA? been doing that. Jeez. And what you hentai? You're clearly watching the wrong hentai if you're getting sick. And I'm not watching any hentai. Yeah, huh? This is the guy that brought up the comparison. <laughs> this is what I love about our podcast. We could be talking about breweries and beer, and all of a sudden it just goes right off the fucking rails into yeah. fucking hentai and... Pouring well, beer onto pussies and it, shit like that. Jesus. Yeah, both started by this guy over yes. here. Thank you, Stompy. Thank you so much. Andy's just sitting there being pretty mellow this week by comparison. <laughs> I just want to say, like, no, there's a, there's a I want us to be able to if post If there's this a episode. beer like a hentai, it would be like tentacles coming out of the beer. Kind of like, <laughs> what? Like, like a beverage sashimi. Yeah. You know, where it's still alive and going at it. Um, okay. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. No, no, but also, I don't. But also, uh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about because I'm not into some of the shit that you're into. <laughs> that's what you do up there. Is that why you got your own room up there? You're just I, al- I also think that uh, they definitely wouldn't age hentai beers. At least they definitely wouldn't age them 18 no. years. So like no, they wouldn't. Hentai? No, no, they no would not hentai. age them because they would probably be wearing schoolgirl uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> is it age hentai if it's still on VHS? I'm talking about the girls. Wait, we're talking about the actual characters, not, not the, the media. Not the media. Am I thinking about this too? Hard? Yes, you are. Yeah, you are. He's it's literally like, talking about the fact that every hentai girl... doesn't age like wine, dude. <laughs> it just the animation <laughs> just looks worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe clearly if, you've watched your fair share. Maybe if it's like a flip book hentai, which is kind of hard because you're trying to jerk it with one hand and flip the book with the other. What? Hey man, what does that have to do with anything about the beer? <laughs> that has nothing to do with that's how you learn. About that's how you learn life tasks. <laughs> Respect the other hand, please. <laughs> oh God. Hey. I God used, only knows I used, what yeah, I, I was use about both. to say. He uses both. Yeah, things. I was about to say. God only knows what I, what. I don't use both colonies that, are growing on his hand right now. <laughs> I don't use both because I'm that big. I use both because I like to give myself Indian burns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've given me something to think about tonight. 
So back to the well, mystery. What the, As I'm slipping please, slowly into slumber. Don't think of that tonight. <laughs> That's all you can Ah, the bra! I'm gonna wake up like, oh, oh, okay, okay, I'm not actually doing it. Okay. I can imagine you can give yourself a decent Indian burn on your dick if you're not circumcised. Or is it worse? I don't, I don't want to think. I don't. About that. I don't know. I don't know if people with. Uh, I don't. I don't think people who are uncircumcised could give themselves Indian burns because uh, you got that like extra layer of protection. That sheath. Yeah. That sheath doing its job. It's like a... Uh, Respect to the uncut. Uh, how the... I don't well, know. You I gotta have, have like a... I have no idea how to explain You this. gotta have like a baby's arm holding an apple down there if you wanna uh, achieve that kind of... Uh... <laughs> you could fucking... With a with an uncircumcised j- dick, you could fucking churn butter down there oh, and you Jesus probably wouldn't burn Christ. yourself. <laughs> Andy, take your dick out of the heavy cream. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Thank God we have beer here. <laughs> And this is why he's not allowed in our fridge. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> hey, this is why your fridge is fully stocked with butter. <laughs> Dick butter. I just want to say our, hairs in our it. mediator has turned beet red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She can't breathe. She's also filing a lawsuit. <laughs> Well, we she's, wa- she's wondering why the fuck she even agreed to this. We haven't said anything that sh- about you know that should offend her really. <laughs> no, all we've done is talk about penises. Why would that offend her? <laughs> this is not a this. penis po- podcast. Yeah, probably one of my bills. <laughs> it should be. We should one make of, a penis. Podcast. One of your bills is translated to Cherokee. <laughs> Have you seen? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, all. What? <laughs> All right. Don't all right. read his How bills do you know that? out. Let's let's not read the fucking documents on, I can't, on the air here. I can't read Cherokee, but also I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. Read English. I am not gonna lie. Where does it say? Where where are you reading Cherokee? Okay, I'm not. Can you just show I'm not me? trying to offend Native Americans oh, Lord. or Native here, American here people. Go. That's might as well like saying not to sound yeah. racist, but. <laughs> Yeah, that's what he said. But by all Basically. means, get by all means. You guys remember that font back in the day, Wingdings? No, Wingdings. You don't remember that? No. Nope. It's on Microsoft Word back in the day. Oh, yeah, it was just a Word bunch thing. of trash uh, symbols, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just looked like cartoon words. Great, we're just comparing somebody's culture to Wingdings. That'll go over well. Well, that's Cherokee, dude. That's not real writing. <laughs> it's real it. writing to Look them. At Look at it. No, it's not. Yes, it it's is. Not. Yes, it is. It can't be. It has to be, to them at least. I feel like to them, they're just like, we know what we're doing, but we're also just like fucking with everyone Yeah, else. but because of that, we want, you know, that help make the codes unbreakable in World War II, though. That illegible script. You don't have to open the I'm too, too fucked up to even look at half of these. All right, let's, uh, l- then let's put Uh-oh. the bills away. Wait, hold on. A no, second. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. We've got them going. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> Every single word in Hindi is crossed out, but I think that's just the font. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Right. Take, just he's, he's right, dude. Put it, put it away. Put the fucking bill away. <laughs> I guess the Indian people are dismissive of themselves. <laughs> Where have we gone? Uh, I don't know. I was talking about beer, but it all just. <laughs> Kind of the tear crashing down. down. Yeah, like Stomps decided to down. compare it to I'm, hentai. I'm sorry that I was distracted by the Cherokee fucking cartoon. You didn't start language. the distracting. No, that sorry. one I'm, did. And then I'm here trying to talk control. up a brewery, and you guys are talking about hentai and fucking Cherokee language, and you know, it's fine. I Both those if topics if, are if, relevant if, and interesting. Uh, par- I- All right. So uh, next beer is from me. It is a classic stout from. Band Brewing, the Band Brewing Company, B A N D E D. Uh, it is called Norweld. Just, uh, it's just a classic stout. I uh, didn't want to choose anything too crazy because, uh, you know, I thought we weren't gonna get so fucked up, but I mean, uh, that uh, went out the window. Well, you guys, real quick. Well, <laughs> some of you guys were also just like pounding. Beers before we hey, fuck off! Thing. How about that? All right, so hey, how about you no, guys just shut the fuck up while I talk about the beer for a for. second? All right, so uh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you guys. Yes, you did. I, I did, but whatever. And I'm hurting you. All right, yeah, I don't give a shit. So uh, 
It is a real rich, silky, glorious, dark heart stout. Delicious. Uh, brewed with domestic pale malt, English chocolate, and chocolate, black roasted and crystal malts, centennial hops, Sacco river water yeast, and sounds it gross. is. I don't know why, but that sounds gross. <laughs> <Am I> just, <laughs> it, wasn't that Cactus Jack scary? Uh, sock, oh, are you are you, are you done? Sacco. Hold on. Sacco, are, yeah, that well, that wasn't ooh. Cactus Jack. That was mankind. <laughs> are you ooh. done with the ingredients, or is uh, well, is, is would, my dad's cum in here too? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> it's a secret ingredient. It might be. It might be. You know, you never know. But uh, it is brewed Oof. in uh, Pepperell Mill. Why it's so easy to chug? In uh, bid for Me- Maryland, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where the fuck. It's boasting a 6.5 alcohol by volume. God damn it! What the fuck did I miss now? <laughs> it's just too late. Just keep going. <laughs> oh my god! You sh- just drink the goddamn beer. Fuck it. They started laughing, then I started laughing. I don't know. I started laughing because of something. I don't know what the fuck you guys are laughing. Because of something he said. You guys, you guys smoke up before we started or something. No. Jesus. If that was the case, I'd be eating all the snacks. Okay, so we're in the fuckery part now. Lovely. We've been in the fuckery part for about the whole podcast. Three. Okay. Three one, three thirds of the fucking this podcast. This one is a deep <laughs> philosophical ish question. Oh, yeah. okay. Sort of, but not really. Oh hell yeah! Sweet. So Let's I go. stole this from someone that I work with. Mm. So the question is, what is something someone assumes about you that's wrong and right? I'm gonna do both. So when, so when you someone meets you, they make a, you know everyone makes a basic assumption. What do they assume about you that's wrong, and something they assume about you that's right. Hmm. That's a oh. Ooh, yeah, take your that's, time. That's some Ooh, self that's, analysis. That, yeah, that's uh, some self analysis shit. Um, I know the wrong one right away because well, I get it all the time. Yeah, uh, I think I know the wrong one about me right away. But the right one's who, tougher. Well, who's going first? Uh, I can. If you want, you want to right, go first? Andrew Andy first. knows already. He right, well, well, before oh. you go, what do you guys think of the think of the beer so far? It's, I didn't it's, taste it's it. Tasty. No. I, it's tasty. It's sort of sort of super flavorful. Sort of reminds me of that chocolate one. Ooh, that is very good. That we had. Before. It's super silky. It's got a bite at the end, and I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. Yeah, I'm I'm liking it. Band Super, brewing. Very uh, dark. Keep up the good work, man. That's mm. good shit. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not my style kind of beer at all. I know I at I all. know for a fact that it's not, so I apologize. But I could always bring back the banana pudding from the style. No, beer. he can. Fuck you. He can. Don't, I don't ever bring that beer back in this house ever again. I don't think can, that episode's hey, ever gonna hold reach. On. Can you editing. let me finish? So it's not my style of beer at all, but I could appreciate a good beer. Okay. This is a good beer. It's a good beer? Okay. Definitely a good beer. Good. That's good. That makes me feel good. <sighs> and I made oh, a good God. decision on uh, beer. Cheers to that. So. Cheers. Slotcha. Be careful with the equipment. Uh, all right. That. So. All right. So. Let's hear it. So something everyone assumes about me. That is one thing that's right and one thing that's wrong. All right, one thing that's wrong is that people think I get laid all the time. I am obviously an incredibly good looking and yes, I have a dashing personality. Yes, you do. And no ass to speak of, but a glorious head of hair. Can you not read this for me, guys? <laughs> anyway? Don't. That's why I threw in you have a glorious head of hair. <laughs> All the beer Stomps, stuff. Stomps is the only one that ruined it for you. And, it's all the beer and, washing you did. And I could probably <laughs> use my powers for evil, but I don't. Instead, I like to just get drunk as fuck and then go home alone and get drunk as fuck there and play video games. And then, <clears throat> what was the other question? Oh, well, right. Something that they get right about. Oh, you something that they, they, that they get right. Um, that I have a small penis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andy. Fair oh. enough. Oh, you packing down there? All right, wait, hold on. No, that was that was a joke. But also, I do. <laughs> um. Hey, you know, as long as you got that girth. No. Oh, well, then you're screwed. Yeah, it's like a reverse tuna can. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a pencil. <laughs> what? 
axe and sharpen so down to the eraser. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can pick yeah. locks with it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your real thing? <laughs> so what My is, what real people thing is something everyone gets right. Uh, shit, I should have been thinking of this. Uh, during the other question, something everyone gets right. Um, I don't know. When people reach out to me, I like literally am there for them every time. And people... When I say when I am at a bar drunk with some other person that I don't even know really well, and they're not doing well, and I'm like, hit me up, you know, hit me up. I will answer the phone, and I will be there for them, even if I fucking think they suck. <laughs> You're a very yeah. empathetic individual. Oh, sucks, man. And I like to put on the facade that I'm not. But God damn it, yeah, dude. I, I, I get that impression of you day one. Like you, you put this like standoffish, but it, it, you, you're, you're a good dude. Like, god damn, do I fucking just love everybody? <laughs> All right, except for myself. All right. <laughs> okay, Either you want to go, or should I go? Uh, I'll go. What everyone gets right about me: I am loud and shouty. I enjoy the bustle of everything. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I like being animated. What they get wrong about me. A lot of people think I give a flying fuck about them because I'll nod and pretend like I'm interested. But deeper inside, I'm like, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. I will do whatever it can to be nice to get you to get the fuck out of my face. Is this the opposite of my answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, yin and yang, yin and yang in this podcast, Dude, folks. You yin have no yang. idea. So many uh, people. Are I'll like, tell you what. It's so easy to talk to. And I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> what I, get, I get why you. you you know, you're knowledgeable enough on a variety of topics. You're, you're personable with people. But mother of God. You, you're not like, you don't intentionally stonewall conversations dude, the way other people do. Oh, yeah, because there's something I might want to get I from them later. Yeah. But I think that's, it's not for the best intention. Yeah, but you, that's what makes you easy to talk to. You're not like, Ugh. It's good, though. Well, yeah, I, I'm doing the Machiavelli like thing. Yeah. I'm being nice in the hopes that it might pay off dividends <laughs> later. And 90% of the time it doesn't. Okay. You know? I guess I'll go around the table. Um, so the thing people get wrong about me all the time is they think I do a lot of drugs, especially pot. And I know why. Because I look like I do a lot of drugs, especially pot. <laughs> I have the hair and I have the beard. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and I dress like it, especially with the sweatshirts. Didn't so I get it. I got will, stopped by no. the cops. Hang on, didn't <laughs> didn't you cosplay as the dude yeah, at work one, yeah, and it one time? <laughs> you you look like you make crack and sell it to homeless people, but you don't actually smoke it. No, but like people assume that to the point where like they'll ask me. I've been asked drug related questions like when I was in school by random people. I've had people like I was walking with some ladies like you have a lighter. I'm like no. It's like come on, I'm not gonna like steal. I'm like I don't have a lighter. I don't know how you walk from here. <laughs> <laughs> like she's at a bus stop, and I'm just like I no. I don't have it. When I this first is, met you, is, I had that impression. Really good yeah, one. Every really, everyone this, assumes that I do drugs. That was a good one. That was a good one. First time I met him, Wait. I thought he was a startup hippie. I'm like ugh, I gotta deal with this crap now. <laughs> I don't judge anybody like that because I do. look at me. I look like I fucking sell money on Wall Street, but also everyone thinks that I have drugs on me. Yeah, you're the <laughs> Wall Street I, guy. If, that if you drugs. sell stock on Wall Street, you'd probably have drugs. You're the Wall on Street you. guy that can the break up kind. a line of coke. I don't look. I don't look like I sell stock on Wall Street at the moment, but that's because that's because you're not dressed up. Depressed. Well, you get, and you're also not dressed. You're up You're not right really now. clean cut right now either. He is what he wants to be, though. Yeah. New Year's Eve, he was looking pretty sharp. Yeah. Plus, your physique, you can dress any fucking way you want. Yeah, I know. You pretty much have your pick of the litter. Because I'm hot as fuck. Um, Next one. The thing Me. people get right about well, you. That one's harder, because people uh, get a lot of things wrong. Um, I don't know. It just makes it so hard. <laughs> it does. It makes it so hard. Yeah, um, it's, it's making it hard for me because I can't think of anything for me. I, I, I guess, know it's so guess hard that I, I don't know, that I'm a decent person, I guess. People seem to assume that, and they're not wrong. Oh, well, you're a good friend, I guess, is people something think about me. Apparently, I, I, I am. You come off grouchy. 
You know, I'm, gonna, I'm I, yeah, no, I, I, I agree with that full heartedly. Like, I, I think that's a, a fantastic example of reading. Okay. Which so I totally agree with. that's the people get right, yep. I guess. So now we're left with the, big with Irish. the Irish man. All right, well. Liver of steel. People, <laughs> yeah, liver of steel. Uh, the thing that people assume about me that is always wrong is, um. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> that's very yeah. You know, well, people. That's because you're like the opposite of Stubbs. That you don't really people talk take to people that much. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the thing is, people people take take one look at me, and apparently, I have this. And I've been told by uh, a couple of bosses from uh, a couple of jobs that I've done that uh, that I have a uh, resting bitch face. I've yeah, actually been told yeah. by my boss at my last retail job. <laughs> that I have a resting bitch face. Yeah, I can see and, that. Uh, <laughs> but you're the nicest guy on the planet. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, uh, apparently, uh, you know, when people first she see have been like, how's my ass look? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not even when they meet me. When they see me, they think I'm um, just this, like, intimidating big – because I'm not really that big. I'm not a small person, like, by any means. I'm six – I'm barely six foot, um, like, 250 – Maybe even 260 pounds. I gained some. I gained some lbs. I gained gained some gained some lbs yeah. over the years. But uh, yeah, uh, the first thing that people assume about me is that I'm a very uh, you know abrasive, angry, and uh, just not a not a good person to meet. It's almost like it's more like you're standoffish. But, That's what it is. Right. It's exactly. Like, but it's when, like you just don't talk to people, so you yeah. think you don't want to be yeah. friendly. But when they when they meet me and start to get to know me, then, you know, I start making friends pretty, pretty, pretty quick, you know, you know, they start to see that I'm not an angry person, I'm not a fucking cyborg, or I'm not a fucking <laughs> beep boop. Also, know? also, also, your stature, just and just your build, you look like you could dent a motherfucker's head. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I've been told that. You, you scared you, some people you, that you I had like over you, one you time. Dent, you look like you could dent heads. <laughs> I have them. I have short hair now, but uh, I've uh, I did at one point have long flowing blonde locks. You remember when you and a uh, full beard? That and was there was one was point. <laughs> there was one point at one of my re- retail jobs. I actually had a customer come in and uh, asked me if I was actually Triple H from the WWE. <laughs> he actually came, he came in. And he goes, "Yo, anybody ever told tell you that uh, you look like Triple H, man?" I'm like. Oh uh, no, not really. That's the look I was going for. But you know, well, there was that. There was that time when I had. Should have um, grabbed a water bottle and spit it. In yeah, the I, I should have been like, "Yes, I am the game." Uh. Well, it was that time when I had the person that was supposed to edit for us came over, and they parked. And oh they saw yeah, you yeah, walk yeah. In, I'll tell you, you this story. Else. Yeah, I'll tell you this story. There's this you kid. The shit out of their friends. It, it, there's this kid that uh, oh. I work at in another retail job. And uh, he's a ni- real nice kid. He's a high schooler, and uh, he came over one night for a game night with uh, Tits McGee over here next to me, Mister. Uh, mm. Yeah, you, you got some good ones there. There, you, you can barely see him in this light. But anyway, no. <laughs> uh, this kid. Uh, I I just got home from work. I had pulled into my driveway, and uh, apparently he was like right behind me. So he pulled in. Uh, right behind me as I was parking. I was getting out of my car, and uh, oh I'm just about to walk up the steps and go inside, and then all, mm. all of a sudden I hear, Hey, bitch boy! <laughs> and, I, and my first thought is like, Who the fuck <laughs> is calling me bitch boy right in the middle of my fucking parking lot? <laughs> and first of all, I'm dressed head to toe, a black hoodie, uh, a black... Uh, New York Jets beanie, black jeans. I'm pissed off and, <laughs> and tired, and I want a beer really bad. And all, all of a sudden, there's this kid calling me bitch boy. So I approach his car, and then all of a sudden, I reckon I didn't recognize his voice at first. And then all of a sudden, he starts saying, "Oh wait, Irish, is that you? Oh my god, 
Oh my god, I heard, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and it was the kid that I worked with in my retail job. <laughs> it was so hilarious because he was petrified. Not only, not only him, his friend, but his friend his in the friend, passenger side his seat. Friend was scared more was, shitless. Oh my god, he he was pale white. And he's Asian. <laughs> and he's he Asian. Pale. He's Asian, and he was pale white when he saw me approach the car. And then so I, he was Asian, and, and, and then I recognized then he became my buddy. Geisha. <laughs> <laughs> and then I recognized my buddy. I'm like, oh, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Why are you call me bitch boy? <laughs> He's like, dude, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know how he mistook you for the person he mistook you for because your two builds are very <laughs> yeah, different. I am way too big for him slightly, to be calling me a bitch slightly. boy, first of all. All right, so what's the thing people get right about? Uh, that's you? the thing I can't think of right now. Yeah, I'm hoping my the, the the mediator thought of something, but she's looking at me, but stop. not coming up with anything. Hey, stop relying on her um, for everything. Yeah, you're your own independent know, well, man, Irish. You're strong, independent man. Uh, people. If you want to do a cop out, people think. If, th- you, if you want to do a cop out, what? Who do my managers think I'm going out? What? Because <laughs> they'd be right about that. Yeah, they would. Yeah. <laughs> Every, yeah everybody <laughs> I work with knows I'm dating one of my coworkers. But, um, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, something that people assume about me that they get right. That, um, I don't know, I guess. Um, I mean, they probably assume you're a strong motherfucker, and you're a strong yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. I, I like to... <laughs> I, I like that. I like to think that I'm a strong guy, and uh, a lot of people uh, assume that about me, and uh, they they get it right. They would most be of the right. Time. Why yeah. is the table just constantly fluctuating my nuts? I don't know. Because your nuts are just magnetic. Because I'm I'm my, constantly my heart, humping my, it. My hard dick is like <laughs> moving. <laughs> that that micro penis is moving yeah. the table slowly <laughs> towards my, your nuts. That, that, <laughs> that dirty job. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think that's that's the one thing that Everybody people get, that uh, get right no. about me is that no, I'm strong. Really? And I get dirty jobs, but I don't get to do a penis. I think, uh, I think I'm Mike a strong Rowe? guy. Oh. Mike Rowe is the host of Dirty Jobs. I didn't know that's his name. Mike Rowe Penis? Apparently there's another uh, conversation going on. There's always so, at this uh, point, there's always yeah. another conversation <laughs> yeah, going just, on. I'm just going to sit back. I just remember the cooking show about I answered the question, so fuck what? it. About Ben Affleck's micro penis, yeah, that me and your girlfriend came yeah. up with. That sounded dirty. Didn't it? I, I think yeah. we got a couple that was more a, minutes. We got, that was a great episode. That was a great. That was a great night. Just talking about and Ben Affleck's micro penis. Yeah. Honest, yeah. Honestly, as as good as this beer was, I don't think it's going to end up in the empty glass. Uh, it might society. end up in the other one. It's hard the for rate a stout it's going. to enter there just because it's so heavy. It is. It is a very heavy it beer. I heavy. thought it was going to be and honestly. It, the can said a uh, classic stout, so I just figured it was just gonna be like a light stout, mm. like it's like Guinness. light and uh, it's heavy I, like them cheeks. Yeah. I tried very it's, hard. Uh, it's it's heavy Are like you my. Slap Brad cheeks? No, it's heavy like his cheeks because he's a strong man. He's got heavy cheeks. I mean, my my cheeks. <laughs> oh my 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 butt cheeks. Your butt my, cheeks. My, my, no, Your well, butt yeah, cheeks. I mean, I've slapped his ass so hard that I left an imprint. And he broke his hand. And with, he broke his head yeah, on in, your butt. He did. He did it with his penis. I got some ass cheeks of steel, bitch. So we have the man with no ass next to the man with the steel ass. Yes. yes. Across from <laughs> the guy who's in uh-huh. ass. <laughs> far from, far from in ass, and then we have on um, all the way left a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say whole table, ass. Table like, of ass. Like, like whole milk. Whole table. It's like that. Uh, it's got like the whole milk of ass. It's table like that of song asses. From Counting all the assholes in the room. Now I definitely know I'm not alone. <laughs> Great song. All right. All right. So Wild that, card, baby. Hey, my beer first. Then you get to do your Suck crazy thing. Okay? You, know, you want to relax? <laughs> so it's called 1929 <laughs> Prohibition Porter from Par- Powder Hollow Brewery. Um, they're located in Connecticut. Located in Connecticut. If you go on their website. You go on their website. What part of the world is that? Uh, America, Amer- the good America. It's, it's, <laughs> fuck America. it's in America. So it's uh, it's they're located in Connecticut, and their website actually has all their beers listed. Do they? Where their beers are on tap in Connecticut, and like what stores you can buy their beers at. Lit. 
So that's yeah. actually pretty cool. They're the pr- only brewery I've looked at where they're like, yeah, here's where all their stuff is all the time. It's incredibly uh, smart. It's a porter, and it's six point three alcohol it by smells, volume. It smells almost exactly like mine, or it smells just as heavy as mine. It's really Probably good. Is. It's no, really, it's really, really good. I grabbed this on the way home today. Ooh, that's actually very nice. Very good. Very good. It's like a little sip of history every in every pint. <laughs> it's, pro- yeah. it's prohibition beer, yeah. apparently. Prohibition in it. All right, so now we're onto the wild card. All right, Stompy, what so, you got? Okay. Since McGee, I need you to write the numbers one through four in whatever particular order. You can't put the same number twice. One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, there, Andre three thousand. One, two, three, okay. four. All right, Irish. 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 You need to write one through four, and you can't have any overlap. So you can't put a one with a <laughs> four or one. Do you like this, buddy? With the three. I hate uh, who- <laughs> So I only know Tits McGee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the rocket cans. <laughs> it wasn't me this time. <laughs> this time. All right, so. Or me. It's just usually one of us. In a random order, just not overlapping the. Can't correct. Be you. Okay, gotcha. Do it, Irish. <sighs> Assume okay. that Andrew, the same you're thing. next. Yes, you do. This is gonna get interesting real fast. Oh, okay. Do you have to do this too? Yes, I have to do this. Of course, I kind of know the outcomes, but since the three of you went first, I have to pick whatever's left. Oh, dude, I'm trying so to get it wrong. Up. Yeah, you put a six, seven, <laughs> you fuck, man. Put the right numbers One, in. One, two, put three, three four. four. Put the right numbers in there, and they can't overlap with anyone else's numbers. So cross that it's shit out. It's more funny if I do it that way. <laughs> it's more funny yeah, if but I it doesn't to... work to skit, though, apparently. No, it doesn't. No, uh, no, because it's, oh, does that it's work? overlapping. There's an overlap. Overlapping. Overlapping. There's an overlap. No, no, there's no overlap. Yeah, doesn't it? it that's oh. a four, and that's a okay, four. Okay, so you got to change the position of two numbers. Right. No overlap. <laughs> on. Can I just... We may need another... 45 paper. minutes later. <laughs> where? 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 where, where? Four Isn't overlaps it? with the four that Irish put down. One eternity later. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> you sure you didn't work for SpongeBob? <laughs> I did not work for SpongeBob. He should have. I should have. Yeah. Yes. Does that work now? Did he do it right this time? Three, four, one. X, two. Yeah. Squiggly and line. Works. And my this and table my is sticky. The oh, hell. hieroglyphic for uh, Anubis. It, what the fuck did you? <laughs> <what>? <laughs> I think so. That's There's a some four overlap. And that's a two. Two overlap. Holy oh. fucking <laughs> Just do it for shit, him. Hey, dude. <laughs> why are you making us think? <laughs> yeah, I don't know We're why drunk. this one, I don't know why this one's at the end. <laughs> Silly. Yeah, that was the big mistake. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Hey, let's get numbers involved. <laughs> yeah. While we're fucking drunk as fuck. God, bro. This is what happens when you shave your beard. <laughs> yeah, you get that baby face. <laughs> That child molester face. <laughs> you shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Fucking I'm Stephen die. Hawking. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna die. Three, four, I'm gonna die. Two, one. So these are fine. Okay. <laughs> now I have to make sure mine don't overlap anyone else's. You want to? You want to just start over? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't. No, no, I don't good. with this number bullshit. Yeah, he's <laughs> what, we don't want to make him do it again. Exactly. All right, we're good. Okay. We're good. I did so it. now what are we doing? All righty. So multiplying <laughs> and then dividing? <laughs> no, we're With not. these head is on my feet. Oh, nice. he was. All righty. Oh, oh. Nice. You will wake up in a strange place. Okay. I'm waking up in a strange place. You are waking up in a strange place. Okay. And based on the numbers I've chosen at random, it determines where you're going to wake up. What weapon you have in your hand. What animal is with you, and what drug that animal is on? Get ready. Oh, jeez. 
Tits McGee goes first. Okay. This is kind of fun. He is up a tree. Okay. <laughs> with a, a butcher's cleaver. That doesn't help. <laughs> How does that not help? It's in a tree. <laughs> you use it as an axe. With a turtle. Okay. I mean, the turtle What's the really turtle help? on? <laughs> Wait, hold up. I think I already fucked up. Ah, ah, no. No. Ah, come on. <laughs> Wait. Here, we got it. So. It's a scorpion. Oh, okay. I can hit that. That's on meth. That's on <laughs> oh. Xanax. Xanax. Oh, it's on Xanax. So that's a super slow scorpion <laughs> that I can hit. But you're also in a tree. Yeah, but I can just... <laughs> yeah, so you're fine. But it's just like... Uh, you're fine. Uh, the, the, scorp- the scorpion's like... Uh, the scorpion will, wants will, to sting your enemy, and it's like... Ah, shit. You know what? You know what? You know, I'm just yeah. gonna let this guy go. If it was go. on meth, I would be worried because it'd be like. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> but it's a scorpion. Stop, 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 stop. But no, because it's a scorpion on Xanax. It's just like I'm gonna make a SoundCloud record, and it's like, yo, I'm fucked up. I'm a Xanax. I'm a scorpion trying to climb a tree. Stab this guy in the butt. <laughs> With That's my penis. where we be. All right. Okay. So who's next? Me. So Irish. This is Irish. What? Irish. Who's Irish picked the number two, which puts him in a closet. Uh, um, oh, I'm okay. hiding in the closet. Your weapon is a bag of Doritos. <laughs> oh, my God, boy, yes. You better hope, there's, you better hope the animal's stoned. <laughs> I, ho- I hope I'm not hungry. <laughs> the animal with you is a falcon. A falcon? Dude, that's badass. That's up. high on cocaine. Oh, God. <laughs> that's even more badass. So, fucked. like, is the falcon his, or is the falcon trying to kill him? What, what's... There's a falcon that's on cocaine in the closet. <laughs> and all he has to defend himself is a bag of Doritos. Yeah, so I'm fucked. Yeah. Yeah. I am oh, fucked. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, here, oh, just eat this. I don't know. I feel like the Wait, falcon... Are they, okay, are I they regular like, no, Doritos? No, no. Hey. Cool Ranch? Extra spicy? Doesn't so matter. The doesn't type? matter. I feel like a cocaine-infused falcon would be like... Fucking Doritos? Are you serious? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! I fucking love Doritos. <laughs> oh I, can, I can only hope that I have like the the blazing, <laughs> the the blaze Doritos that's like uh, extra super hot. Falcons love Doritos. Yeah, Not, yeah okay. Especially when they're on bears. Cooking. All right, what, Beats. what's what's Andy? Battlestar Galactica. What, what does Andy have now? All right, Andy's in an abandoned hospital. Okay. Oh it's boy. Mhm. His only weapon, a pair of scissors. Oh shit. Yeah, okay, he's got a shot. He's, he's, he's got on what it kind is. Kind of a blade going. There's a bear. Oh, never a mind. Bear. <laughs> your your <laughs> animal's a bear. That's high on what? <laughs> Meth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're dead, dude. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, you're so I don't. Bad. I don't think. What I'm... do you do? <laughs> what do I do? What do you're I do? You're so dead. Okay, here's what I do. So you, you suck his bare dick no. and hope that he fucking lets you go. <laughs> no, here's exactly what I do. Here's exactly what I do. Bear food. I go like, hey bear, that's on meth. How you doing, buddy? And the bear would probably be like, no, no. <laughs> And then I'd be like, hey, let's make some fucking snowflake thingies. Because we got a pair of scissors right here. And then the bear would probably be like, Stop eating. <laughs> My ears. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm sh- deaf now. I'm pretty sure this is what would happen. You would be walking with your pair of scissors. And the bear would come running after you, and then you'd be running away from the bear with your pair of scissors, yeah. hoping to God that you could lock one of the doors that it can't get in. No, the bear and I would be making crazy ass, like really cool no. paper paper no. snowflake no. figures. No, no, the bear would be eating you. I guarantee. Unless I you could, could lock a room. Man, uh, at least you have a pair of scissors. I had a fucking bag of Doritos. So far, I've, in this scenario, I think I'm the only one that has, that can win, that's winning. Yeah, pretty animals. much. I think I'd be winning. Depending I think, on what I, think, star I, think is. I think I think the bear would like me. Well, we, we'll we have one more person craziness. who is yet to uh, do the puzzle here. Well, my one goes pretty simple. Uh, ironically, um, I am stuck in a carousel. <laughs> stuck in a carousel with a muzzle loader. Um, one of those like old school fucking. Oh, uh, one of those fucking like muskets. That's what Andy needed. <laughs> there is a turtle. A turtle. Who's high on pot? 
That's what he needed. Yeah. <laughs> if only my Falcon was high on pot, I would I would have stood a yeah, chance. You been fine. So pretty much, you just get to hang out with a turtle. Yeah, you get to hang yeah, out. Yeah, you the just turtle. get to hang oh. out with a turtle. Fuck that turtle. On a carousel. Fuck that turtle. On a carousel. Dude, you're on a carousel with a high turtle you get to, on you, pot. You get, you, you, you get, do you get to get to mildly dizzy with the turtle. No, I sit on the carousel at the far end. I take the pot for myself. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. You can't take the pot. It's already because it shows up the stove. All right. Fuck the pot. So I take the turtle and I stuff him in the muzzle loader and I try and hit the target with something while I'm spinning in the carousel. <laughs> Pow! I don't think that would work, Man, but it'd be I, fun to no. watch when the turtle exploded. You know, if if my you know if no. my Falcon was high on on pot, I, I would have oh, at you least used the fucking Doritos to fucking distract him while I could get out of that fucking closet. But it, here's it, the here's the new problem. Now I'm out of the closet, and uh, so everyone John knows Travolta. you're gay. Yeah, now now I'm John Travolta all of a sudden. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> Sasha. I think I'm the only one that poured this one out. So did everyone like my wild card? That was that a was good wild. That was an interesting wild card. I like that. It's fantastic, but also I feel like the bear would like me. No, it wouldn't. Dude. <laughs> the bear would love the way you taste. Yes, the bear would love your delicious. No, the bear meal. would go <laughs> like uh, suck not the marrow out of your bones. Yeah, yeah seriously. He pooped you out. I guarantee. Oh my <laughs> god, that was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> You're fired. Oh god, yeah, he would like me. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired, boy. You're fired. All right. You're fired. The bear, no, the bear would like me, no, first of all, and no, also I wouldn't even wouldn't. taste good. The bear is it behind like the wall. You. It's on meth. It doesn't care if you taste good. It just wants to kill something. Do you not think that you would share it? No, it shows up already in the state that's in. It's literally, already on meth. Literally, I feel like the bear would come up to me and be like, oh, hey, what's up, bear? And the bear would be like, yeah, you got a little bit left. Like, what's going no, on? That's you, you not how, no, that's not no, how this that's works. That's not how bears operate. Not only that, that's not how this works. The bears okay. already smoked on all the meth Fine. Then and shows like, up in the hospital. Hey, man, you got any picnic basket? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the stoned bear. You got the meth no, bear. No, yeah, that's the – you got the meth bear. That's the pot bear. Yeah, you got the pot – you want the pot bear. You got the meth bear. I the honestly, meth bear is just I, like, I want to eat you. You look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I, I, I don't understand why you guys don't think I could just deal with that. Like, you I couldn't. Mean, the only chance you would have had if the bear was like, uh, uh, you look delicious. Uh, if you have meth, I'll suck your dick. <laughs> yeah, if I'll you, suck your dick, if and it, then I'll let you leave. <laughs> Yeah, maybe if you got away long enough that the, it OD'd on the meth and had a heart attack. Yeah. But if it catches you, you're dead. You guys yeah. underestimate my you're personality. Dead. No, no. You overestimate your personality. You underestimate my personality. It works on people. Right. It does not work on it bears. It literally works on everything there is. No. No. And no it works oh, on vaginas we, and penises. It doesn't it even does work, on not work on bears. It does. Meth does not work on vaginas. It could. It does. Not if I tried. Ones. It does. Except for I've Fergie. seen you try it. Wasn't it does. Was hooked on meth for a while? Who? What? Me? Am I the only one who knows that? Who was hooked on meth for a that while? That chick from the Black Eyed Peas. The one that... Oh, my lovely oh, lady. Uh, Fer- Fergie? Fer- Fer- yeah, wasn't she doing Mergie for... Mergie. Mergie, Mergie. Fer- 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 she was... I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she was doing some kind of drug. I'm pretty sure Lindsay Lohan know. I don't know if it was meth, though. I don't know if it was meth. I like want, you would I know. I don't, I don't want to taint her career. Because <laughs> like, they, like they, it, they, as they girls don't cry. Sparkles! You know they're all going to hear your voice now. Yeah. That was, weird. That was <laughs> beautiful, actually. That was kind of great. Holy shit. I enjoyed that a lot. You guys got to get something going, all right? We Cheers to that. Make a band. I, I miss the chicken, apartment chicken. That was the best thing ever. Oh, yeah, the, the fucking squawking chicken that you had. That, uh... Just get another Oh, yeah, that was, that was fun. Oh, Just well. leaving it in the fucking microwave for somebody to fucking <laughs> find. Just don't leave it in the oven. No one checks the oven before they preheat. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Melted, melted chicken. Whatever happened to that chicken? I have he no died. idea. Ever since we moved from the apartment to the house, he died. right? We have yet to. I bet he got hidden it. somewhere and no one found him. <laughs> and the yeah. new, uh, the new apartment owners probably found it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs>
And then the Germans invaded. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you ruined his whole thing. My balls itch. Oh, wait. Were we doing something? I'm sorry. This is great. Just keep going. <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> they're the, hey, listen. I, they're, they're the ones that cut you off. Don't look at me. So if you've endured us so far. Um, it's an endurance contest. And yes, this was an endurance <laughs> contest. I would like to <laughs> say. So is living in North Korea. <laughs> Let him finish. <laughs> Shut God. up. I would also like to say that this is an endurance contest for me, too. <laughs> because I can't get a fucking word out. Aww. We love but. you. We love you, Andy. I want to twist your nipples. Sorry. That came out wrong. <laughs> this is a long-ass I'll ending. Wait, I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> we'll, wait. We'll have this long-ass ending. I'm, I'm waiting so, with you. From my friend... It was distracted. From my friend. Stomps. From my friend. Tits McGee. And also from my friend. Irish. And Andrew, right over here, we would like to say, I hope you don't glue yourself to any tissue lately. <laughs> it's a good friends and good brew. Slotcha, bitches. Good night and farewell.